All right, I have something to admit. I love to shoot things. I'm sure you do too, because today we're gonna to be 3D printing a crossbow. Let's get started. has finished. I have to say with this particular part, uh, it's better than the last print I did a week ago, which ended in a disaster. Um, it's mainly just got some unwanted strings here. Um, it's got a few dead layers in it, but they're not in an area that I think will be affected here. It's all printed in one piece. I love to print things all in one piece. It's always so nice. None of the stress points have any weak points in them, so that's good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean it all up, and then we'll get to putting this thing together. Let's get started. The parts are clean and what a mess. <laughs> oh well. As a result, in extruding too much plastic, it resulted in these pins not actually fitting into the correct holes. <laughs> so we'll just get a drill bit and just drill that and make that nice. Um, hopefully these pins will fit in here though. Beautiful, they will. Oops, and I did it. I have done it now. I've broken it. Do you know how many things I break? I break so many things, especially if they're small. And I just broke this pin. Oh, I'm saddened by this fact. Okay, you know what? I, I like these plastic pins, I really do. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just going to put them off to the side and say bye bye to them and I'm gonna use bolts on this because this thing should have metal on it. So let me get some bolts. There we go, life savings. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start assembling this. Got it finished. Metal bolts are in. Looks quite nice. Should we test the caulking action? Here we go, ready? Well designed, my goodness. Well designed indeed. Well done. Now we need to string the bow. Well, this rubber band I have is a bit long, so we're gonna improvise. All right, I believe I am done with the crossbow. I think I got it all assembled correctly. So I got it stringed and ready to go. So basically it loads like this by going forward with this thing. We'll just cocks it back like that. And then moving it back will fire the bullet, just like that. Now for the other task, which is making the ammunition for it. Let's do this. I brought over Q-tips and I brought over matches. We're gonna see if either one of these are gonna work. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut some matches down, make some ammunition. All right, I've made the two ammunitions. Here's the Q-tips and the matches. So let's try the matches first. So basically the way you load it is you load it in like so, like that, and you fire it but it just dawned on me that I'm not gonna fire anything because, oh, duh, I forgot the hole. The hole for firing it is filled with fill-in. Oh, I should have thought of that. Okay, I better clear that out real fast. Okay, I got the uh, barrel of the thing cleared out there, so we should be working now. I'm gonna go ahead and put the ammunition in. There we go, it's looking beautifully. Now, should we fire it? Here we go. Cocking back, and ammunition is entrustedly worried. And, fire! Hmm. <laughs> Let's try that fire shot again, but this time with just one. Here we go, ready, set, fire! 
Fire, 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 fire. Why is this not firing? <sighs> oh, I know why this isn't firing. For whatever reason, the wood ones keep getting stuck in the barrel, quite go all the way through. So I'm gonna just go with the um, original Q-tip idea. Let's go ahead and load it up. Okay, we're loaded. And fire! Oh my gosh, that just launched across the room. Wow! Oh my gosh, this is fun. These things excel extremely fast. I am impressed by this thing. This type of motion is extremely cool. The fact that you can just go like this and fire, that to me is really, really neat. Oh, I just love things that shoot, don't you? Things that shoot are like number one up my alley type of thing. Well, I think this is a wrap. Not too much more to see. Definitely target practice with this thing. This thing is awesome. If you have something you want to see printed, definitely request it, and we're gonna see you next week. So thanks for watching. Yes.